Hi, my name is Fernando Arreguin, and this is my editing analysis for The 400 Blows. The 400 Blows is a 1950s film about a young boy growing up in Paris. The editor for this film was Marie-Joseph Huyot, who was a French film and television editor and actress. She was best known for her work on editing Police Python 357, The 400 Blows, and Les Sauvages. As we learned in class about auteurs, I wanted to mention what an auteur was because although edited by Marie-Joseph Huyot, a lot of the control was given to the director Francois Truffaut because of his belief in the auteur, which was a form of film that places the director as the dominant creative force behind any project. That being said, between Marie-Joseph Huyot's editing skills and Francois Truffaut's ideas, the film had a good rhythm of long takes, fades, dissolves, pans, match cuts, and jump cuts that help the film flow smoothly. Some examples, like at the start, we see a fade into a low-angled shot of France through what is thought to be a car. This can be seen as a POV of Doinel Daniel looking at France, introducing the setting to the protagonist and the viewer. The whip pen is my personal favorite edit, and seeing as it was used in a 1950s film before its time was really surprising. The whip pen is used when Daniel and his friend drop off their bags after ditching school. They walk down the sidewalk and the camera whip pans across the street to when they made it to the movie theater, which added a quick sense of the passing of time. When Daniel was running away from the observation center for troubled youth, the film used a dissolve as a way of showing the passing of time from when he was running on the road to when he made it to the beach. As he made it to the beach, they used a pan of the beach to show the setting for where he was running to the whole time. For the final cut, they used an unexpected match cut instead of their normal fades or dissolves that helped show the abruptness of Daniel running away from the observation center. That same match cut starts the final long take of Daniel running down the beach where it then goes to a freeze frame edit to a fade into black for the end. The best example of shots I could think of was how at the beginning they used close medium shots inside the school giving a sense of tight space that showed Daniel's situation at that point which is more than not controlled by adults. But at the end of the film, they used medium long shots of Daniel running and walking down the beach, giving an open feel and having the sense of him finally being freed.